More testimony today in the bench trial of Henry Dinkins, the man accused of kidnapping and murdering 10-year-old Brasia Terrell. Today in court, a timeline was laid out showing Dinkins' movements on the morning of July 10th, the day Brasia was reported missing. TV6's Jenna Jackson joins us now live from outside the Scott County Courthouse with more on that timeline and the latest developments in court. Jenna? Yeah, Sharon, uh, good evening. As you mentioned, that timeline shown in court today. I'm going to break it all down for you right now. So that timeline starts just before midnight when Andrea Culberson says she fell asleep. Now at 2.13 a.m., we see a dark colored sedan traveling near the RV that Dinkins owned. Then at 2.29 a.m., we see the sedan leave that RV. Detective Obert says that while they can't say for sure that it's the Impala Dinkins drove, it says it looks very similar to that one. Now at 3 a.m., Andrea says she woke up to find Briasia and Dinkins gone from the apartment. Then at 3.30 a.m., Andrea says Dinkins returned to the apartment, grabbed something from his closet, and left. Now of note, this is the same time she saw Briasia standing next to the Impala. Between 3.33 and 3.38 a.m., we see Dinkins at the quick shop buying gas. Then we see what appears to be a dark colored sedan traveling north on Highway 61 around 3.44 a.m. And this is where the timeline uh, skips ahead. Again, though, of note, we know that Brasia's remains were found near the Kunau implements up uh, near DeWitt. Now at 5.55 a.m., Dinkins picks up D.L. from the apartment complex. Between 6.58 and 7.10 a.m., we know Dinkins is at the Clinton Walmart buying bleach. We then know Dinkins traveled back to Davenport where he is picked up, driving onto Credit Island, and leaving again between 8.18 a.m. and 8.22 a.m. We then see Dinkins and D.L. outside of the RV at 8.24 a.m. At 8.55 a.m., Dinkins is back at the apartment complex with Officer Burkle, DL, and Aisha Langford, Breesia's mother, before he leaves. At 11.46 a.m., he is seen on video near his mom and his sister's apartment. And then at noon, Dinkins arrives at the police department. Now, the state asked Detective Obert if this timeline corresponds to with what DL testified to. So as far as the child's descriptors of going to um, Walmart, was that corroborated? Yes. Um, uh, the child's descriptors of um, there being Clorox that his father used, was that corroborated? Yes. Um, the child's descriptors of having placed the battery back into the cell phone while Mr. Dinkins was in the Walmart, was that corroborated? Yes. The child's description of Mr. Dinkins having gone over to the area of Credit Island, was there physical evidence to corroborate that? The footprints, yes. Okay. And then the child's um, a description to law enforcement about going back to that trailer and there being a large knife that was wiped down, was that corroborated? Video footage has them there that morning and then detectives locating a large knife on top of the microwave, yes. And Detective Obert also testified that morning, uh, this morning rather, that all of Dinkins' movements are backed up by cell phone data, except for his movements in that overnight out area that, uh, that I spoke of. And that is when Andrea testified that she noticed that his cell phone was left at the apartment when he and Briasia were gone. Reporting live in Davenport, I'm Jenna Jackson, KWQC TV 6 News. All right, thank you, Jenna. Now, also during testimony this morning, we watched emotional body camera video of police showing Aisha Langford, Briasia's mother, a photo of a flip-flop found on Credit Island. This is just hours after Briasia was reported missing. Aisha says it's not Briasia's shoe, but we also see her breaking down, saying she can't go to sleep because it's 9.30 and Briasia isn't home. Um, everybody is working on it, okay? It doesn't end, okay? I know, but it's 9.31 and I haven't heard from her. No, that's not her shoe. No, we just had to make sure. Okay. Yeah, but we appreciate. We. Okay. I can't go to sleep with that. Like, what the? It's 9:30 and she's nowhere. 
Our crew will be at the courthouse every day covering a trial. You can also find updates and a live feed on our TV6 News app and website.